Hey there, thanks for joining me. My name is Ashley and I'm a speech language pathologist at Carolina Therapy Connection. Today we've got three special guests joining us. Let's give it up for Emily, Lindsay, and Lucy. Today we're going to dive deep into their experiences for their first year in the field of speech language pathology. Let's get started. Reflecting on your first year at CTC, what's been the most rewarding experience that you guys have had? So for me, one of the more rewarding experiences has been hearing from families when they start to notice that their child is making progress in the communication. Um, you know, really that is ultimately what our goal is, is to make sure that they're able to tell their families what they want and what they need. And so that's always really rewarding for me when families come back and say that they started to notice improvements at home. Because um, that's, you know, that's what our goal is. That's what we want for our, our kids that we see. Absolutely. So I also think going off of that, so building trust and relationships with the family is definitely an important aspect. Um, once you build that trust and relationship with the family, I feel like your child will just take off. Well, that's awesome, guys. Can you share a particularly memorable moment or breakthrough you've had in therapy this year? I'll say just speaking from experience with families where there's like kid comes in and they're just not saying anything at all. And it's like, what do we do? Like they're not saying anything. We're so scared. We're so nervous. This is our first baby. And not just within like the field of speech therapy, but also just working with other disciplines. And we all work together to come up with like a really awesome strategy or something really awesome for the families to do at home. I feel like that's really rewarding just to see all parts of the puzzle just kind of fit together to help those families. Um, so a memorable story I have is going to the schools specifically. So I get contracted out from Carolina Therapy Connection over to a school in Washington. And just making those connections with the students in the community is really rewarding. Tell us about your journeys as clinical fellows at CTC. What initially drew you to the field of speech pathology and what drew you to CTC? Well, I really like working with kids. So I knew that I certainly wanted to work in a field where I'm into work in pediatrics. So speech pathology came across the table one day, and so I looked more into it and decided that that was what I was going to do. So I really enjoyed it so far, um, and over the course of this year, I think I just have become a lot more confident as a clinician and being able to figure out what would be like the best goals for a child, what are the things that I feel are going to help that child become a better communicator. And I think when I first started, I was really reliant on a lot of the people around me, my supervisors, sort of asking questions of how to navigate certain situations. And so as the year has progressed, I have just become a lot more comfortable and confident in making those decisions on my own, which I do think is largely in part to the support that I've received so far. Everybody has been amazing about um, answering some questions that I've had, or if I ever have a kiddo that I've seen where I'm maybe not sure what to do for the next steps, everyone has been really, really great I agree with Christine. Um, I completed my um, full-time student clinical internship here and my first week with my supervisor I was like I really love this. I love the people. I love how we all work together to help these families, how we're their lifeline and I was like I'm just gonna apply and see if I get it and thank goodness I got it and I've loved it ever since. But specifically what drew me in was the family feeling. I'm from a small town. I like knowing everyone that I work with. I like catching up with people's personal lives. And at CTC, you really do get that family feeling. And that's what really sold me and drew me in. So do you guys feel like you've been supported by your supervisors, upper management, um, the stage teams? Do you feel like you've had a good experience this year? Yes, I would say I certainly have felt very supported. I work in the Greenville location, and I also work in the Location. And so every location that I have been at, everyone that's there is always asking me how it's going at both places. Um, administrators often check in to see if I am still okay with the way that my schedule is set up with going between two clinics. And I do really like working at both the clinics. The other thing that I will say I have found um, has been really important and valuable for me is the way that we're allowed to submit a request for a passion project. So sort of finding something that we like in our discipline and to tap into that and explore that a little bit more has been nice that the clinic has offered us that opportunity. Um, just recently finished up facilitating a group for speech called Speak to the Week that we had for the month of February. And every Friday we had a music-based language and speech group that I got to facilitate. And so 
I really enjoy music and being able to ask to do that program and then have the clinic support me in that endeavor was really important to me. That's amazing. So I have also felt very supported, especially going back and forth from the Greenville Clinic over to the schools in Washington. Um, whenever something comes up at the schools over there, I can always come to one of the supervisors in Greenville and they always support me and help me navigate those situations, even though they're not in the school setting as well. Um, absolutely. I do feel like I've been really supported at CTC between the mentorship program that we have here, the speech leads, management, but personally the thing that I really like the most is that CTC care about my professional goals. They also care about my personal goals and like how I want to advance my career, personal things I want to work on, like my communication skills, advancing my knowledge in certain areas. So just having the opportunity to know that they care about me as a person is also really important. I feel like they're looking for a What do you guys think sets CDC apart um, for speech therapy professionals and what makes it a special work? Well, when I was looking at places to work after grad school, one of the things that I really liked about CTC was having a designated treatment space. That was really important to me to be able to have a room that I knew that my kids were going to like to go to every time, that I would be able to keep all my materials in, and just having kind of the consistency for therapy that a lot of our kids need. So that was really important to me. The other thing that really sold me on CTC was the passion project, being able to request to do some things that are in our discipline, but maybe not be the same things that we're doing each day during treatment, being able to kind of explore other avenues. To me, that was really important. So those were the, the two things that for me really sold me on CTC. Yes, I agree with Christine and also just the flexibility of our schedule and just the flexibility of being able to provide treatment. What really sold me was that, yes, we do have really nice office spaces to ourselves where we can, you know, have those private conversations with families, work with our kiddos, but also we have a courtyard where we can do sessions if the weather's outside. We have a large sensory gym for kids that just need a little bit more sensory input to help reach goals. And it's just also nice because we are like that family friendly feeling that we all can just kind of collaborate like, hey, I have a question about this kid. Know, what are some things that I can do to best help them meet their goals? And I really appreciated that because in some places I feel like the communication may not be as great. What advice would you give to other speech therapists and clinical fellows who are considering working at CTC? I would say don't be afraid to ask questions. When I came in, I was just so intimidated by the knowledge that all my colleagues had. And I thought, okay, I'm right out of grad school. Everybody knows a lot more than I know. If I ask a question, they're going to ask themselves, why did she ask me that question? And that was just really not the reality. Like, everybody that I asked questions to was very helpful, and they did not ever make me feel less than just because I asked a question about something that maybe they already knew because they've been practicing for several more years than I have. So that would be my piece of advice is don't be afraid to ask questions. There's no silly questions ever. The only silly questions are the ones that you don't ask. So feel confident when you go in and you say, you know what, I need help with this and be okay with being able to say that and ask for some help. All right, so based off of Christine's answer, I would also agree. Um, just not being as nervous. Like when I first came in, I was so nervous each day and just having the ability to go to all of your supervisors and ask these questions um, and not be nervous about it. I mean, everything went just fine and we got comfortable with it and now we're all friends and we can ask each other whatever we need to ask and we all feel supported. With all those things, I also think just being confident and comfortable with yourself, kind of like what Emily and Christine talked about. Because as students in grad school, you're watching someone else and it's like, oh, I need to do what they do exactly how they do so the kid can make progress. But it's really not like that here. They really strive for us to be creative, think outside the box, do a skilled intervention a little bit different with a different activity. And I really like that, you know, it's okay to make mistakes. And that's the beauty of the speech therapy field is that we can just keep trying and trying and trying to find that right fit for that family that right game, that activity, and I think that's just really awesome that we have that support to know, you know, it's okay to make mistakes, you're here to learn, it's fine. So, how do you guys see your role at CTC evolving through the years? In the next few years, I really hope to focus more on, like, the feeding and swallowing aspect of pediatrics, and it's awesome because we have these employee check-ins every couple of months just to be like, hey, how are you doing? How can we support you? What are things that you need? And I already expressed that to CTC and they have been so supportive and welcoming of the idea. So I'm really excited to pursue that to see where that leads me. So based on what Lindsay said, 
um, we do have mentors in a variety of different settings. So we have feeding, we have AAC, um, and just having the ability to communicate with these, these leads is really helpful. What are some fun work culture events that happen here at Carolina Therapy Connection? Yeah, we do have a lot of fun things that happen at CTC. So monthly we have a potluck, so everyone can bring in food and eat lunch together. Um, we also have staff appreciation days where we are provided lunch um, from like a local restaurant. Um, we also have some community outings where everyone in the clinic is welcome to go out and do some trivia nights, for example. Um, Yes, and we also do a lot of fun community events. We have a sensitive trunk or treat that we like to do around Halloween, sensitive Santa around Christmas, which is really fun because it just allows people to get together into the community, us to make really good um, partnerships with people out in the community, and we also do other sponsorship events like with the Special Olympics as well. Well, thanks for being here, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you found this discussion insightful and informative. If you're passionate about making a difference in the lives of others and interested in joining our team here at Carolina Therapy Connection, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you and discuss potential opportunities. Together, we can continue to make a positive impact in our community.